Hello, my dear guest. Today, let's talk about host ngdeep and host context and how you can use it in your application. Let's start with host. So host is used when you want to style your component and you do not have access to your parent component. For better understanding, let's look into our code. We will have a simple card and two buttons, save and back. And let's see our code. It's card and buttons. And in this case, they are all stuck together and it doesn't look good. So first, what I want to achieve is to increase space between this uh, our buttons and card. To achieve it, I mean, the easiest way is to add style and say margin top and let's say 20 pixels. And everything works fine. But sometimes you do not have access to your parent component and you only have access to this app action buttons. In this case, you will navigate to SCSS and here you will add host and add margin top 20 pixels. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work, because there is no such HTML tag as app action buttons. And what it requires is to add one more property and it's called display. So it knows how to render it. So when we add display block, everything works. And let me add this into the host display block. Yeah, and when we restart, everything works fine. Next is using ngdeep. And in ngdeep, you will use when you want to style your child component and you have no access to it. So let's command with a host. So for example, I want to increase space between these buttons because they don't look good. So I can navigate to my main component and add button and margin right at 20 pixels. And it doesn't work because of encapsulation of styles in Angular. To style your child component, in our case, it's action buttons. And you will usually not have access to it. It will be like third party library. We can use ngdeep. And when we go back to our application, you can see there is space of 20 pixels. Here you can see that ngdeep is deprecated. Basically, they've deprecated ngdeep, but they do not provide any other solution to use instead of it. So it's safe to use ngdeep for at least one or two years. So don't do not worry about it. But another problem with ngdeep, if I add just to show background color red, and let's say it's important. And it affects like we wanted it. It makes uh, our buttons red. But when I even navigate to another page, it will also change their styles. But here, when I refresh it, styles go back to normal. NGDeep will be only applied when user comes to this page. And it can be very hard back to trace. So when user navigates to our tutorial and then goes to another pages, you will see it changes the color. But when we refresh the page because we didn't navigate to our tutorial, it will be normal. To fix, you have two solutions. The first is easy one. We can add just class and say like, in our case, it's main component and add beta selector. So it will be only for main component 
And now when we navigate to tutorial and then to other pages, everything works fine. And the even better solution without using need to use creating of a class, we can use host. And let's remove our main component. Go back. In this case, it also, the styles will be applied only in your component and everything that is uh, below. So every child component. And the last is host context. Host context is used when you want to have different styles depending on the context. For example, themes. If you have, for example, white, and then you will have black theme, you want to have different styles for these two themes. So, also, it's applicable only in your child component, but I will show a little bit. To show an example, we need to navigate to our app action buttons, CSS, and let's have here host context, not class, host context. Yeah, let's say we'll have class green, and another will be host context, Red. And we need to add this classes, so I will copy our action buttons and here add class green. And in another I will add class red. And coming back to our SCSS, we will say background color for first will be green and important. Why important? Because I'm using um, mod buttons and just to show you an example. And in another one will be red. And when we go back to our application, yeah, I want just to style buttons. So let's add one more button. And now we will, we will have one button for the green theme and another for the red. Here is also very important. If we take this, it should be used only in child component. So if I copy it and paste in my parent component, and then let's have these buttons. And add in instead of component, it will not work. I hope this video helped you. And remember, everything will be good in the end. Have a great day. Bye.